Go for it. Hello, everybody. We're here at uh, Woolly Bees. So, uh, we have been riding around having a good time. And me and my buddy Lankford, we're going to check these swarm traps. And uh, we got one over here. Kind of small. It looks like it's pretty much packed. So, we're going to open it up here in a minute and uh, we're going we're gonna to split it if it's possible. So, you never know about bees, how they are, but these are wild bees. So, I think they'll be all right. They, they're not too bad. So, we're going we're gonna to take them down here and split them. And uh, this, is, this, this is the fun of swarm trapping. Free bees for me. And you split them, you take the cell to clean or do whatever you want and leave them here to requeen themselves. And you still can leave the bees in the area. Uh, yep. the, the, the bees swarm here and it's probably the best resources for them to leave them here because this is where they made their home and they have a lot of resources. So. Just notice something. Have you paid attention to all our swarm traps? There's always freaking poison oak on every dang tree we hang them on and that's where we catch swarms you think they think they attract it to poison oak i don't know mm -hmm. but i'm just now noticing that just about every tree we've got swarms on has got freaking poison oak on it all right well let's take these girls down and split them right quick right, let's see how it goes just remember when we're doing swarm trapping with a friend and they're get, handling the bees if they start screaming run <laughs> I'm gonna put my veil on. Oh, look at there. there Acupuncture. You. See, that's good medicine right there. That arm won't hurt for long. It just hurt pretty good right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it wasn't to the nose. Ow! All right, I think we're gonna need to the smoke. They're getting a little more. Uh... How about I pause it and then we'll start back? Smoke me, bro. Good job. These are mean some bitches here. Now I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer on their language. Oh, did I say it? Yeah. That's oh, all. How long have you known these been in the trap? I thought they was in here about two weeks. I think they've been in here longer than that. Yeah, because we got a mess back there in the back. Uh, this is more the beekeeping on the cheap series. Keith builds his out of pallet material. Hey, now, <laughs> she didn't get me, but she was trying to. This is pallet wood. I'm not gonna mention where he works and what he does, but he gets these nice high grade pallets, hard, hard pine. Makes swarm boxes out of them. Hey, you work that, I'm working the camera. Look, I got a hole right here. So you can, you can get them two ways. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can double it. Yeah, I mean, you get them coming and going that way. You get them right here, you get them when they're coming in and going out. Actually, I put that hole in there so the light real easy. You'll find that video on Wooly Bees in the playlist somewhere. Alright. Here goes nothing. Yeah, because that's a mess. Pull it up real slow because it's so tight. We don't want to roll the queen. Because so far our queens have been on the, the outside frame or the very next frame in. And she's not on this side. I use this little flashlight, but I'm blind. There is, there is larva in this frame. So, there is stuff they can make a coin with. So I'm gonna take this one, stick it back in the where the tree is. 
Yeah, because you've already got a bunch of these piled up on the tree. So, this is called renegade beekeeping. It was in the front, so I put it in the front back so I didn't have to rearrange it. Alright, here's another one. Renegade beekeeping, and look at that beekeeping on the cheap. He makes his own frames. Got me a double barrel smoker. <laughs> double barrel. <laughs> uh, she's been in here a while. Yes, sir. Anybody out there sees her, give me a yell. It's here on this side. Mm, nope. Got what it takes to make a queen on this one too. It is laid solid. Yep. All right, you gonna give that one to the new box, or we're gonna take this at home with us. Just toward the front. Yep. Uh -oh. Ah, filet knife's up there. Looks like your piece of foundation fell out. Yeah, a lot of times I know you see this honey. If, when you get stung, you put honey on it, they'll come lick it so it'll sting you again. This right here is the reason you use standard frames. Oh, there went a big blob of honey. We'll have to taste that honey. I bet it's good. Remember, we don't have no more. About to fall. Yeah, well, it. And that's what happens. So, it, it's okay. It ain't the end of the world. So, I got a special frame here. That we, for this occasion happens, so we can do Man, this. There's eggs everywhere. So what this is is a frame with fishing line and rubber bands. You push it. You pull it my way a little more. It's kind of hard to help when you've only got one hand. Yeah, let me get it while you can. So we're going to put these rubber bands on here. We already got two on this end. Oh, that one. So we, all right, so it's all good, see? I'd almost leave that in the original spot. We'll put it back. To let them, let them fix it for you. So that's got to... Hopefully. We don't have a queen on the ground. Cause that queen on the ground is, my house is 45 and his house is 50. Wow. All right, don't see her. I think I'm gonna entitle this one Swarm Trap Nightmare. <laughs> Cause that one is, this next bar is crossed over to the other bar too and it's got brood on it. Oh I mean, my. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's not gonna be fun. Got another one of those special frames. So. A lot of honey back there in that back.
You hear that? Oh, there's your queen. Right. Next year. Got her. There is our queen. She's a honey butt. That, folks, is the mess you get into. Take the camera. Because I don't want to drop her or lose her. One. A two. Three. Four and five. Fifty-eight dollars with with shipping for those that ordered a feral queen from him. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and set this in the end with the rest of them. Pause the video and I'm gonna snap that in. No high beetles. No high beetles is a good thing. I'm gonna dump those in and dump a so far we got any that's a good friend. Ow, damn. <laughs> this um, one high beetle. Right. Let me get a top on it. Push straight to that one. Get one. Oh, damn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you field test a, a swarm. <laughs> I swear, we're the renegade beekeepers. We do some crazy stuff. These are these are key swarms and summertime bees. Good night. Uh, you need a couple of frames in that one, don't we? Yeah. Here's three. I didn't separate that cross comb. You noticed that, didn't you? Didn't what? I didn't separate that cross comb. No. Leave that alone. That'd be a good place for them to make a sale. We got what we want. Yep. Hey, you got one up here talking to me in my ear. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe. Share the crazy videos. I think we learned how to, what not to do, and when something happens, how to fix it. Have a great day. Signing off from Summertime Bees and Woolly Bees.